We are here today to witness a celebration of a love and commitment. Peter and Sarah, you came here today to affirm your love for one another and formally acknowledge that which your hearts already knew, that your lives are meant to be shared as one, that you are stronger together than you are apart. and that for all your days yet to come, you wish to share together all of life's joys and challenges, committed to one another. Amazing idea to bring us together on a boat on Labor Day weekend. We all know the weather is a gamble this time of year, so apparently Mother Nature approves of this wedding. proud to bear the title best man. Presumably, the high voltage energy of our relationship has provided Peter and I a mistaken identity as we have been considered everything from partners to brothers and even fraternal twins. The realization of these assumptions complements how genuine our friendship truly is, a magnetic brotherhood I'll never take for granted. Are you laughing or crying? Oh, uh, are you really crying? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. You're making me cry. How did you not cry? <laughs> the moment I met Sarah, I know their relationship was undoubtedly going to be successful. I quickly realized she had quirks that jived with and surpassed all of the goofiness I've ever witnessed from Peter. Peter, do you take Sarah to be your wife? I do. <laughs> Sarah, do you take Peter to be your husband? I do. But Sarah and Peter started dating February of 2016, and we meet him for the first time a few months later. Every chance I had to be around them together or simply hearing from Sarah along the way, both Peter's true character and their love was evident, as well as how weird they both can be. I was actually so confident in this pairing very early on, so much in fact that I started jotting down notes for a maid of honor slash sister speech back in 2017. Looking back over the years, it amazes me that something that seems so minor, being bored, I could change my life forever and getting to have you as my big sister. Through thick and thin already, I couldn't have picked a better partner for Sarah to take this journey through life with. I know how happy you make her, and I realize all she needs is a guy who will love her just the way she is, goofiness and all. Sarah, I take you as you are and love who you are. I promise from this day forward to be grateful for our lives as one, to be patient with you and with myself, to be generous with my time and energy, to lend you strength for all your dreams, love you completely, these things I pledge to you. Peter, I take you as you are and love who you are. I promise from this day forward to be grateful for our love, life, and travels, to never take anything for granted, to be generous with my time and energy, fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter, to love you completely, these things I pledge to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Bell. Yeah.